here, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give the video a like. We are heading to an antique store today down in Ballymena and I'm gonna get myself, finally, a, maybe a bedside table. That's what I'm aiming for. We're going for a bedside table. Who knows what we'll come back with. I love antiques, anything kind of Victorian style is my vibe. Monday kids is back at school. It's, you know, back to school. Back into the mom life clothes. I actually never get out of these, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But yesterday I wasn't on because I decided to do a little deep clean, spring clean, um, even though it probably won't look like this later, but it's like so super clean. I mean, I got into the little crevices, you know, at the bottom of my worktops, I cleaned all these wall surf like surfaces down. I did a lot. I mean, I still have loads to do. I was editing a YouTube video from eight o'clock in the morning to like, or sorry, no, nine o'clock in the morning till one o'clock. And then around half one, I started into cleaning. Still have this. I still have to get rid of whatever's on the top of the shelf here, but I even, because usually sometimes, I don't know if anybody picks up, they probably do in the background, the mess. But sometimes in here would be a bit like everything in here. I cleaned this little area. So this little area is clean, but it's got like two baskets of stuff that I require at the back. All has to be changed. I want to put a more of a Victorian style um, picture frames here. And I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing yet, but that's a painting that I did. If you remember, like I did this myself a couple of weeks ago. I actually love it. I think I'd love a bit of color in here, but I don't know. I was just trying to see if oil paintings kind of thing would work here and they might. So this is the area I was talking about. I like usually this would have been just filled with stuff upon stuff upon stuff. Cleared it all out, but I have in there my like in here would be my um, camera stuff and that's all in a box there and then hair stuff that I kind of like just if I'm filming I'll have this hair stuff in the living room because the living room gets the best light so I've got two boxes of that and then obviously that's for our plugs and stuff and that's just set to the side but usually this is a mess it's all cleared out I'm very happy Um, I have to like redesign this because I've decided I think I want like a big fuzz of flowers here once I get my Victorian paintings um, like gold frame, I'm changing these all to gold frames, but like different paints inside. What's wrong, Lise? What do you want? Cracker. Cracker? Okay, let's get a cracker. And then I've also decided, because obviously I was doing all this cleaning, um, our skirting boards are terrible. It's like, they are so badly chipped. I asked Pierce, what are we gonna do about it? He said, you can't do anything about that. Apart from sand it down. So I said, to him, that's a job for you this weekend. You're gonna sand them down and I'm gonna paint the skirting boards and then I'll probably end up painting the walls as well, changing the curtains. Like I'm, you know, whenever I start these things, I wanna change everything. Now it could take me a few months, but I'm making us some tea right now. Then I need to fix this face, fix the hair, and try and do some work for Instagram because whenever I take time into cleaning my house, which annoys me, then I can't do any work. And then it's like, whenever you decide to do work, the house goes to absolute, like, you know. It, um, yeah, it's either sort the house out or do work. I never get to do both. It's kind of like one or the other. Daddy Daddy's not here. <laughs> no, Daddy's not here. Right, do you want your tea? Do you want your tea? No. No. Why? I just made you tea and you don't want it now. Are you watching Chicken Run? 
No, not Crocs on the table, Elise. <laughs> Shouldn't have your shoes on the table. These are Elise's favorite. I'm gonna have to wash the counter anyway again. These are Elise's favorite shoes ever to wear. Crocs, which obviously mommy thinks <laughs> are not extremely fashionable, but Elise loves them. But she must be more in fashion than I am because obviously a lot of people like love Crocs. Um, are you a Croc lover or not? Let me know in the comment section below. Elise can't, like she will not take these off her feet so we've actually ordered her another pair from Next. I'm just getting ready. I'm just using my Hydro Tent here this morning for some coverage. Elise is watching uh, Chicken Run behind me. I have to put a alarm on my phone again for the school runs for Cadence so that I remember to lift my child from school and as I thought after me tidying the house yesterday it's not going to stay tidy for very long like why did I put myself through it I don't know like this already look this is covered in toothpaste I don't know what at least this is a picture of me by the way this is little old me whenever I was cute things have changed quite a lot since then <laughs> so my antique sideboard is coming later and i am so excited i have not been like i haven't even been as excited for clothes as what i am for this antique sideboard and there's just something about the antiques that i absolutely love like i love walking around looking at everything and i'm so excited about my piece because it has some history behind it obviously oh i must show you the docket that I find in it because it was pre-owned but also pre-owned again so I know that it's like an like a you know an heirloom piece I suppose I don't know how old it is but it's definitely older than 20 years so this is the little invoice docket that I find the people that bought it came from Cheshire and whenever they bought it it said it was previously owned whenever they bought it and it sold at that time for yeah for hello, <laughs> 1400 it was 1800 and they sold it for 1400 I got it for 200 pound so I got obviously quite a saving compared to what they did it says here an oak dresser and rack previously owned so even whenever they got it it was antique and vintage so I, I would love to know exactly where it was from if that's how much it was worth in 2004 yeah I'm gonna keep that so it's got like it's a sideboard that's coming, but I didn't realize whenever I bought it, I thought I was buying the sideboard for £200, but then it came with this additional kind of like shelving unit that sits on top. Now, I don't think I'm going to have enough room for it, so I'm going to obviously use the sideboard and then I might upcycle the top shelving unit. Yeah, I'm so excited. And the chair that I got, um, it's obviously, for me, it's not the nicest color, the green fabric on it, but and I will show you, show you it later, obviously. I don't know whether it's like the older age in me, but I am. So excited I'm happy so excited since I've been doing my bedroom doing like DIY kind of projects so I've, I've been really loving that aspect of life I'm gonna upholster my chair then I also have a unit that I want to repaint and DIY for the girls bedroom I'm just in my DIY phase and then eventually I'm gonna move this is what I've decided I'm gonna move on to the garden and I'm gonna start doing things in the garden, some gardening. I wanna buy a book. I was watching a YouTube video the other day, how to garden for beginners, for absolute beginners. I'm just in my creative phase, I think, at the moment. I love doing anything creative. Why am I still looking odd? I don't know whether it's because I've been able to keep two plants alive in my house and I've never been able to keep a plant alive before. Is it because I'm like entering that like older phase of my life that I wanna do all these things? I don't know. I just know that I have this real itch to do like gardening and become a gardener I want to become a gardener no I don't want to become a gardener <laughs> the only thing is I do get impatient so I feel like gardening for me if I don't see things happen and things don't work out I could easily give it up so I mean it might not be for me but I want to try it anyway I mean this, this like I've managed to keep this alive this plant here alive so I'm like, I possibly have a chance at <laughs> having a garden. 
I know there's so much work to it and it's not as easy as I obviously what I think especially after watching the YouTube video because you have to like weed every week and I'm like could I be bothered weeding every week I don't even like cleaning every week and it's probably maybe worse than cleaning but I do like to do like things with my hands and I like to get like a bit messy with like paints and stuff so then I'm like you know gardens like that too you get your hands messy in the soil I think I could like it but I mean, you don't know these things until you try. So that's my new venture that I'm onto. Could be another year before we start this, but I'm looking into it at least. I'm, I even made notes, like I made like a pile of notes. Like this is how serious I was. I started making notes here and here on how to garden. Like I got some tips, so I, you know, I'm trying. Hey, what? What is on your lips? Excuse me? Mm-hmm. Where'd you get that at? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my. See, this is what I mean. I mean, we need a new rug because it has loads of stains on it, but like, Elise is making a mess. Not only with my pearl classic beauty, which is a lovely color, good choice of color. Is makeup your favorite? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the floor is lava. I told you this place would not say tidy. Right along. And mommy has stuff coming. Yep. Yep, so we need to tidy this all up again. Well. The floor is lava. Girls have to tidy up the stuff because we have, we have our dr dresser coming here. This is where the dresser's going. Our side table, it's going there in the big empty space. Well, we're gonna go into it. Yeah, but I need the floor as lava tidied. <laughs> so we're gonna have to tidy this before the delivery men come. Huh, Cadence? How was your first day back at school? Good. You enjoy yourself? Yeah. <laughs> so our chair arrived. I'll show you it in the morning. This also arrived. The girls are already finding loads of use for it. Right. <laughs> Can you get out? It's not bedtime. No! This is our bedroom. You're going to sleep in the cupboard. No! <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go to bed. We're just pretending. We want to stay here for a wee minute. Let's we'll stay here for a wee minute. Always. Well, it's bedtime about 10, 15 minutes ago. Okay. Mon, you too. Wait, don't we go to bed. We don't want That's a Harry Potter closet. I'll just close you in. In the magic cupboard, and can just sleep in there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, come on out, come on out, come on out, Elise. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> right, close Elise in, because she wants to be closed in. Right, you gonna come out now, Elise? <laughs> right, let her out, let her out, let her out. Out you come. You'll have to say goodbye to the cupboard. Goodbye, magic cupboard. <laughs> goodbye. Elise, pick a teddy. Pick a teddy. And then Ken's gonna pick a book. Yeah. Right, are you taking your cat with you? Let me see your cat. It's, it's cut. Are I'm calling you... to see Mitzi. Okay, and we also need to clean that face before you go to bed. Can you pick a teddy for Cadence? Elise. What? Um, the color. Do you know what I want? Um, have a guess. What Teddy does Cadence want? Um, it was a new card. It was a purple one. And it mm. was hard. Hmm, what stripes? Stripes. Right, 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 what this? Oh, yeah. Is it up there? Um, let's go. Where's my unicorn? It's like my unicorn. <laughs> oh. That's my little chair over there, and I actually think I think it would look really good there. I think, obviously, upholstered. We're not gonna have it like this color. We're gonna go to Turkington someday together. We're gonna try and look for fabric. And 
yeah, I think in the corner like that. Like maybe pull it out a little bit. And then I'll have my bedside table and then the bed kind of more flush. But I think that's going to be kind of cute once we get the wallpaper and stuff done as well. Like once we get that wallpaper up, I have to decide what wallpaper I'm going for. Either this wallpaper or this wallpaper. And then depending on which one we go for, I think it's going to be this one. Then we can go for a nice little fancy fabric on our chair. So yeah, no, I actually, that was £80, that chair. I love, love, love it. Like, Look at it, it's... It's actually so much nicer. Hold on, I changed the settings on this camera because the wall is not coming out the same color as what it should be in real life. There we go, just by changing a couple of settings. Like that's what, that's the true color of this and what it actually looks like. And I think that's gonna be really, really nice in the corner, but obviously just the fabric. But the dark wood is really nice with that sage green. Um, and then a funny, Feeling I'm going to end up going for the more greeny sagey wallpaper just so I can play about a bit more with the fabric so then I could maybe do a floral print like that on the fabric of the chair and that's where I'm going to put the chair and then obviously I'll have my side table here bed up against the wall probably change the bed or either fabric this over and then I'm thinking of having little wall lights here but also the plugs are being changed to like an antique bronze color there as well I just, I'm so happy with this is all turned out and coming together. And the only, the last thing that I'll ever be allowed to change, Pierce will not let me change this in a hurry, will be this. It'll be the carpet and we'll go for more of like a creamy carpet color. I'd love to change it to wood. But unfortunately, I'll never be allowed to change the carpet to wood because this is the upstairs in the bedroom and Pierce just doesn't like the fact that it would make noise downstairs. So, it's coming together, slowly but surely. Um, I need to, I think I'm going to do my walls a darker creamer color rather than this white color as well. Which I'm so happy, I'm so happy to finally have a bit of character in this room. I mean, give me, give me half a year and we'll have it completely finished. But like, yeah, I'm happy. That's going down the girls' bedroom and I'm going to repaint that mom um, Ikea cupboard. So I am. Um, and then I'm going to try and find some antique vintage wooden, like a dark wooden one for there. And then I don't know what mirror, what what way we're gonna style it on top. Yeah, it's just gonna have to be slowly done because like I don't have the funds. I don't I don't have the funds to like have this done like tomorrow. So we're just gonna keep going, and in a year's time I will have my perfect bedroom. I hope so. I just love the detail. See the detail on the wood and everything. I've obviously have to check for like um, worm wood and that. Um, so far I haven't seen anything yet, but like. The detail I'll have to give it a little bit of a sugar scrub as well around the wood and then eventually get rid of this fabric the fabric might have been nice what you know a long long time ago but it's just it's not my color but I, I like the kind of style of this but yet yeah, as an antique find this is is really really good these little bits here the legs <laughs> the legs of the chair again nice detailing and then they have um little wheels as well now the wheels obviously are a bit uh probably need oiled up a little bit but they're not going to be used much i'm not really gonna take this away anywhere but yeah i'm f like literally i couldn't be happier with this find for 80 pound i think that you know that was a really good find anything i would have got modern i would not have been happy with in this room now we get to do the most exciting part we get to now this is all finished rip off the rest of the masking tape so satisfying just literally the most satisfying thing voila and we didn't worry about being too tidy around here because it's gonna be wallpaper tight to the wall anyway so yeah it's grand but that was that, that felt good so that's our um top of the sideboard we have in the garage for the meantime and then obviously we will try at some stage to upcycle or do something with it i don't know what i can turn it into if you have any ideas what you could turn this into please leave a comment down below and let me know what could you do with this because i just don't know it's, it can't fit in our house so yeah all suggestions welcome i love these little drawers are so 
I do love it. I do love it. Just did a YouTube video, but like in here, so many nice bits for Cadence. Like, oh, I want it. I want it. It's content day. So I'm annihilating my house right now with just everything. Like, I mean, <laughs> carpets and everything turn everywhere. Um, I've just put up a little quick reel there and I have to do some more. So I have done this little reel here. So reel, it's literally about this dresser and obviously me getting ready too. Let's see, I've asked for people to vote on what they think I should do with this dresser. Very little people are saying paint it, thank goodness. More people are my side, which it's leave it as it is. Maybe change your floors. So I actually asked Pierce there too. I was like, if I save up all my money and I pay for it by myself, will you allow me to change these floors? He's thinking about it. Probably because I said I'll pay for it. Um, he has to do the work, so I think that's the prob that's the main issue. He has he has to do the work, but he knows I've been complaining about them for years. Um, it's just because I, so the gray trend was years ago. It was a thing. Gray was like very much in, in, in. Um, everybody did gray. I did gray. And then as time went on, things change, trends change. So what I've learned in life is don't go for a trend. Go what you truly like for or something that will be classic and last forever. And I've also realized as well, I really like cool colors. I like warmth. I like loads of warmth. So I've like slowly tried to add little bits of warmth or like neutral colors. So my table is actually kind of neutral. It's like it's like in that mid between cool and warm. And yeah, I've it's left me my my floors. I didn't realize this. I picked them very last minute, and then I've regretted it ever since. So they're so on the cool side that whenever I go to like change my wall a different color as well and I want it to be a little bit warm a bit more creamy a bit more like yellowy cream I can't because it has to go with my floors so yes always always remember that if you're choosing your floors it's the most important part not the wall you can repaint the walls again getting a floor dug up and redone again is extremely hard so what I would suggest if you're a new homeowner or like somebody that's like deciding to renovate their house, the floor is 100% the most important decision in your house. I told my mom this as well. Um, she was moving in, they were doing a bit of renovation in the new place that they were in. And I was like, like literally you have to make sure you get a neutral floor because if you ever decide to go for, you know, change your mind for cool or warm colors, depending on your floor, that's what allows you to change the wall color. So I've learned my mistakes, learned my lessons from my mistakes. And oh, I, I don't want to do anything to this. I love, I love the color. I love, I just love this so much, but I just don't like it with my gray floors. So I have a funny feeling I'll not be allowed to change these for another year. So I think it's going to have to stay like this for a while. And I love my table too. Love my table. Love these chairs here. Even though they're a bit ratty, they would actually need like painted because they, they chip so easily. Um, so probably why they were in the seal. I wouldn't like recommend them and say they're like really sturdy or anything. But I like them. I like the look of them. And uh, the only thing I don't like is my floors. It's the only thing that I'm like adamant in here that I would change. Um, and also my sofa again. What color is it? Gray. What color do I not even like wearing that much on myself? Gray. So <laughs> We're not allowed to change our sofa until the kids learn not to draw on it. And I thought like Elise has turned what three? I thought maybe, but the odd time we'll find her trying to draw on the sofa. There's a lovely little painting at the back of the sofa. I didn't realize until I was like obviously hoovering behind it and I was like, uh, what is that doodle? A, like a big happy face. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. I can't even get it out. It must be it. They must have like grabbed a felt tip or something. <sighs> so that that's the drawing. I don't know even if it was my child or if it was one of the cousins, but <laughs> that appeared in the back of my sofa. So yeah, no new sofa until all the kids in this house learn not to draw on furniture. It's really hard to keep not only a tidy house and a clean house but like a furniture still intact house 
It's extremely hard. All right, all ready to go to school? Yeah. Exactly. Oh my own. Look, Daddy's got the little umbrella for you. Go on this morning. Yeah. Yes. And Lisa's getting left off to Annie's. Currently just editing. So that's my star haul going up and editing that. And the exhaust. I'm going to get ready for Pilates now. Um, changing out of this. Changing into. You have to do your homework first. And then after you do your homework, then I'm getting ready. I'm going to um, go to Pilates class. No, you're leaving me down. Yeah, but I had to go to Pilates class. Uh, yeah. I got a last minute cancellation yesterday because I love that Pilates class and I need it for my mind although I am exhausted today. I don't know if you could tell my eyes. My eyes feel tired. They don't look tired but they feel tired. I feel like I need to go to my bed like 8 o'clock the night. I feel like I need to go really early, get a good night's sleep and then tomorrow is Pierce's birthday. I have to still sort out like a card and everything so I'm going to have to go get that tomorrow. I have also a collection to do of some of the kids stuff and then I need to, what else do I need to do? Oh, sorry, Kristen's um, bag. So we collected her things this morning from a friend. I have to take her suitcase down in Dublin. So I have Dublin this weekend too, which will be nice. I haven't been to Dublin in ages. And um, I actually have a Pilates morning on Saturday down in Dublin, and that will be really nice too. So um, yeah, I need to go now. I think this video is going to be a lot of me blabbing and talking and like you can let me know if the, like, that's annoying or like you don't mind the chats but it could be annoying because I know whenever I edit <laughs> like these videos what? I fall asleep listening to myself so if, if I'm making you fall asleep sorry. Just in time a new stuff of Adenola arrived so some new leggings and um, these are the black pocket leggings but also this top I actually might wear this I got this top in midnight blue to go with my midnight blue leggings so I might wear that tonight. Okay, I'm just gonna be very boring and wear black everything. So I'm gonna go for the pocket leggings and then we might throw on this little Aranola burgundy. Just get me warm, really, um, because I think I'm gonna wear the midnight blue stuff this weekend because <laughs> for my Pilates class with Kristen because we actually bought the same set together so we could go twinning at the weekend, I'm thinking. Okay, that is that on pockets um yeah i'm obsessed with pockets i need to get my hair and put it up so i do because i don't want my hair flopping everywhere in pilates i need to get these earrings actually i hate having jewelry on whenever i'm working out just in case it comes off my little or big oversized uh burgundy sweat and then just my trainers, which we won't be wearing on the way to Pilates, but um, that is the fit. Once I get the hair up, that's the fit. Just back from Pilates, my legs are shaking. Here's me at uh, Prawn Rosado, but I'm a loving leg. Um, cheers, cheers. Um, it's Pierce's birthday this morning, so we we're actually down in Lisburn because we thought we might do a little bit of shopping and try and get Daddy a Chris Christmas card, a birthday card. Happy birthday to you, Daddy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So we left um, Kim's to school, and then Elise is with me, and we're going to get some stuff. Yay! I want to go to the shop. Yeah, we're going to go now. I like the color of it. It's just, it's very big. You have to take it off. And no, I think it needs to. Yeah, I think I need to get to a dressmaker to cinch it thin and make it a bit more tight fitting in places. I'm like, I just like the color of it. I don't know whether to keep it or buy it or. Too much work, and I think it's nice and set if I could get it to the dressmakers. I have tried floral dresses before. I just I don't fit them. they're not on me vibe. Not on me vibe. This is Why? 
why to these store dress is not. Maybe it's maybe it's this. Say cheese! We would bring cheese sandwiches. Yeah. Yum. Only No, you don't. I said I wouldn't be one of those girls. I'm not one of those girls. Um, I have just put a hair mask in. I still have to actually wash whatever's left on my makeup off. And this just arrived as well. I might try this tonight. I don't know if anybody else has tried this. This is like that LED face mask. So I was gifted that. So if this could like brighten my skin, just sap them away because they're taking these ones especially are taking a very long time to go away um that's my uh kicker that always makes that noise annoying noise so we went to marks and spencers i tried on a few things what is it about floral dresses or either just those v-neck shapes just do not suit me i don't know maybe the lighting was really bad but i was not having the time of an m&s but i did find two pairs of jeans that are really nice i'll show you tomorrow because i'm in my pjs i am not getting out of these um what time is it that i'm in my pjs i just i just i felt like yeah half five it's gonna be an early night tonight guys so it is pierce's birthday remember we got him i got him this card from me actually a really cute one from MS. Decorated this myself. Ta-da! <laughs> no, I did not. That's MS, obviously. Obviously. So I'm gonna open it up here. This is what it should look like inside. Now, we had a watermelon earlier too, but Elise got it and <sighs> annihilate. My watermelon did not last for more than what 10 minutes. I came into the living room. Should have shown you, but I was too angry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rainbow cake that Elise picked out. There we go. He'll never know that I didn't buy it from a proper patisserie artist. Yeah, that looks good. That looks so good. These from m and um, This one is stained because we had watermelon in the house earlier and Elise, I don't know what she did with it, but I came into the room Ugh. and the watermelon was literally the watermelon was smushed into bits i was so angry i couldn't even film it to be honest and you know like the way they get grapes and smush them with their feet well that's what my watermelon looked like it looked like they'd you know got half the watermelon and smushed it with their feet yes he is 37 and here and here cute yeah, cute. Okay, so we got our little cake ready to go. And then the girls also picked up some roses as well. So this is the card they picked for him. I think for the flamingo, they didn't really understand that, you know, what struffed your funky stuff means. <laughs> but I was like, okay, they picked it. So yeah, that's for them or from them. Oh, it's mine. Mm. I don't know. There's some scribbling. I don't that name, and I don't this cat, and I don't that, and I don't that. Brilliant. <laughs> I don't see names of mine. Did you say happy birthday to daddy yet? I did, she said it multiple times. <laughs> yeah. Elise, did you say happy birthday to daddy yet? Happy birthday! <laughs> um, Ooh, look! Oh. Daddy's lighting his own birthday cake. <laughs> Do you like the chicken? No. Why? 
Because it's spicy. It makes me spicy all my time. <coughs> spicy on your tongue. Yeah. Mm. That's curry. Curry is nice and spicy. The, the floor is lava. Looks like an obstacle course right now. <laughs> it's not obstacle yeah, well, it looks like that. You're going to break the chairs. What? Yeah, Ian's are. Right, Jammy's on. Because bedtime now. On quickly, and then you can have a piece of cake before you go to bed, okay? Well, we can't so nobody wants a piece of cake? I do. Okay, then Jammy's on. Where's Jammy? Quickly, Jammy's. And then a piece of cake. <laughs> come on! Uh, uh, come on, you have, share, you have to share. You have to. You have to share. You can't take it all. all. Right. Let's see. Just over the rainbow. <gasps> let's see what's inside. It's a rainbow cake. Oh wow! Look. Isn't that so colorful? Is that for me? Yeah. Yummy. Thank you. And we have some tea as well, will we? You're on the banana phone. I'm on the orange.